what is up guys welcome back to the brandon bruce channel i promise you this video and we're gonna do it finally here is my truck tour i'm gonna show you what i got how i set it up it's pretty simple i didn't do anything crazy because i'm not that kind of guy i'm a kind of simple guy kind of sort of kind of minimalist but stay tuned let's jump into it <laughs> So here is the inside of my truck. Like I said before, I have a 2024 Freightliner Cascadia. Right now, me and Jax are here at a shipper, no, at a constantly actually getting unloaded. And I said, why not make a video and make good of this time? So if you are familiar with Freightliners, they all look the same. I mean, I don't think they've changed the interior or inside thing. Probably in the last five years, all of them have looked the same. This is the shape with the with the exception of the top of the line one which gives you like a whole digital uh digital cockpit like right there and right there i'm a nerd i looked it up before but so this is how it looks whatever um so from my other truck let me point this out what i liked what i really love on this truck first of all i love the way it drives when i first got this it had 59 miles on it i think right now i am at 2000 i hit 2000 miles today and my old truck 2021 freightliner cascadia had 433,000 miles when i first got it it had about 411 410 and then i put those miles on it to make it 433. all right so um night and day the way this drives this drives so smooth like of course it don't have no miles on it but it's re really re redefined from what i was driving before and i really like it um this truck has one of my favorite features it has a light test button this light test button you push it and it runs a cycle through all of the lights so when you're doing your pre-trip you can it's easy for you to check and see and make sure all the lights are working you can just stand in front and it goes through your low beams high beams turn signals four ways it goes all through them and then you can stand in the back of the trailer and make sure all the lights are working my old truck did not have that function i had to go old school turning the four ways on and the lights on and the biggest thing that i really wanted on this truck or any other new truck that i was going to get was led headlights this one has it i'll show you guys those so let's get into this video and talk about what i actually carry on my truck so if you are familiar with any freightliner you know you have all these cubbies this is like actually one of the most spacious trucks actually um when you think about peterbilt's kenworth freightliners actually have a lot of space inside the sleeper and i do have a sleeper i'm not a day cap person all right so in this first cubby what i have i have my headset i keep my bible in here uh, keep my wallet license I think I keep a snack in here as well yeah there's a snack and there's the cable to my Bluetooth just to keep it charged and sometimes I also put my BOLs in here just so they're easy to reach so in the center here this is kind of like my junk drawer situation I keep a microfiber cloth here just to wipe my screens down I keep my workout gloves because sometimes I am able to go to the gym if I park by Planet Fitness, I keep some writing notebooks here. Like this notebook I started out at the beginning of training, writing all my trip information down and instructions. So things like that. 
So there are times when you're going to a new place where you're not sure GPS is going to get you there. So I rather jot down all the interstate and highways down. So I keep this in easy reach while I'm driving. I can look at it. All right, going up to the right. Like I said, this is kind of like the junk drawer. I have some tape. I think every trucker in part does need tape. <laughs> uh, this truck actually came with like a cigarette lighter and an ashtray. I guess this is the smoker's package, but I don't smoke. Uh, these are some seals. If you do work for rail, rail wants every load sealed. And um, sometimes some shippers, they don't do seals. So if you go to a shipper and they don't do seals, you put one in, put one in the workflow. This is my trailer lock. Uh, in that box, I'm not going to open that, but it is my airline lock. That's for if I was to park this truck and take it home or something, I could put this lock on my airlines. So if someone tried to break in and steal, they might be able to start it, but they would not be able to pull the airlines. Therefore, they can't move the vehicle. All right. And then I have my kingpin lock as well. Not gonna open that because it's just full of grease and all of that. So that's what's in here. What's at the top? I keep some hats and reach hand sanitizers up here as well. Yeah, got like three of those things right there. Uh, paper towels. I keep an umbrella, and I think this is some. Yeah, that's the manual for the truck and my atlas. When we did the atlas class one saturday that was that was my favorite class i felt like i learned the most about interstates uh, i've probably pulled this out about three times just to overlook some things and just for fun like there's a lot of knowledge in an atlas all right now we're gonna go to this side this is my cleaning compartment i have wipes lysol glass cleaner some extra plates more Clor clorox wipes uh and wipes and yeah that's all that's in here i'm gonna keep going to the right before i open this i'm gonna tell y'all give y'all an announcement you know how the airlines tell you when you land they tell you be careful opening the compartments because uh things might have shifted yeah i know what i'm talking about this is a freight liner and you know if you know freight shaker but <laughs> let's open it slowly. All right, nothing's coming out at us. All right, so this is like my food pantry. Barbecue sauce. Uh, I keep my some snacks, cereal, oatmeal, plastic silverware, some soups. I keep noodles in here. I went back to college and grabbed those bad boys. Let me grab my coffee. I am a coffee drinker. This is my coffee right here, Pete's Coffee. One of the best coffees ever, ever. Syrup, uh, I was doing waffles and, um, not waffles, French toast and sausage. That's what I got in my freezer right now. That was for breakfast. And then some snacks for Jack's. Microwave, you guys know what that looked like. And my refrigerator doubles as a nightstand and a refrigerator. So I have my phone uh, charging here so I can see it. My watch charges there. My AirPods can charge there as well. I have the iPad Pro, my Kindle, TV remote. And yes, I have a TV here. Rail trucks come with a mount and antenna. The antenna allows you to get local stations wherever you are. So you're able to search for them and pull them up. I am using my iPad Pro as a hotspot for my TV. This is a smart TV, by the way, so it's able to pull all your apps. As you can see, Netflix, Hulu TV, Apple TV, Tubi. Ain't nobody watching Tubi, but yeah. And that's Mr. Jax. Jax, say hey. Oh, you just woke up? Okay. <laughs> Here is my bed. I decided to go with black sheets because this is a black interior in the truck. And, um... Yeah, that's the bed. And then we have, I have a mirror here, just so I can look and make sure I'm decent. Don't got no uh, boogers in my eyes and all of that. <laughs> here is a cabinet. 
in this cabinet I keep some hanging clothes and I keep my Keurig in here. Shout out to my best friend. This Keurig is like five years old. It was a housewarming gift, but made its way to the truck. Down here, I keep some comfortable shoes. If you know anything about truck driving, these are my Timu uh, knockoff Kanye West shoes. And then these are my shower sandals. Bought these sandals from Target like two years ago, and then I just turned them into shower shoes. And this cabinet up here is, eh, it's more like essentials, I guess. I have a few water bottles, gallon of water, paper towels, some snacks for Jax, uh, another water bottle, Yeti water bottle. I keep some microwave bowls, cereal bowls, and I have my Bluetooth speaker in here just in case they are nice and when I want to watch a good movie and I want a good sound. And I have my Ninja Blast Blender. Yeah, this is a game changer. If you like smoothies on the road, you need to have one of these. Uh, this is also USB-C chargeable, rechargeable, y'all. Get you one. All right, so when it came to a floor, I just got a simple rug from the hardware store. Then I just have this simple rug here, just so I'm not constantly messing up the whole entire truck. So that's what I have there. So when it comes to other storage on this truck i have a bunk area under the bed and this is the reason why i didn't get a bigger tv i want to show you guys there and then i'm able to lift up the bed all right so the big orange suitcase comes with me every week so keep all my clothes in there, wash them, bring them back. Keep extra boots in here, shoes. Uh, this is my Shark Math, uh, Mess Master vacuum cleaner that I've been using to keep the truck clean. I have another vacuum cleaner back there. I have these bags, these food bags. That's how I bring my food when I meal prep. And I have this food warmer too. Like sometimes I am driving and driving, but if I want to heat my food up, I can put it in here and in about 20, 30 minutes, my food will be warm. Cause 20, 30 minutes, I just may be ready to eat from driving. So I have side bunks. I can access these from the door, from outside that side panel, extra uh, windshield washer fluid, oil, antifreeze, and the same thing on this side as well. Have some straps, bungee cords, uh, fire extinguishers over there, and my triangles over here. So that's what's going on down here. And then I have Jax's crate as well, just in case if I have to crate him for anything, if I'm leaving the truck for a while, or just in case. But I have not had to use it for him. Look at him, y'all. A little bit. And above here, it looks like it's a lot of junk, but it's not really. Uh, this is my bag I use for shower when it's time for me to go to a truck stop. I have my winter winter coat up there because y'all know it would be cold. I have a hoodie up there. And my Michael Kors bag is like my tech bag for the week. I have my MacBook in there and all that stuff. And then in this bag, I have my credit cards and all that stuff there. Jack's bag. Jack's bag. He has his own bag. Snacks, treats, and all that stuff. And he looking at me when I call him, when I said it. All right, you all. So this is the tour. This is what I got going on. This is the setup. This is what home away from home look like. Um, this is it. I'm trying my best to get to 2,000 subscribers before the year is up. So you're going to see your boy posting a whole lot more.